Oh, did y'all think that just because I did a bed bucking video on Jason Woodlock, which is definitely very well deserved for what he said about Sarah Lynn Davis, that I wouldn't come back and do a video about Sarah Lynn Davis. Now, I had a couple of people who left comments in the chat as it was going on, as the uh, premiere of the video was happening. And I did, you know, acknowledge him, but I had to like tell him, I said, I wanted to focus just on what Jason Whitlock said, because that deserved to be talked about, but don't, but trust and believe that doesn't mean I wasn't going to talk about her either, because according to some information I found out about her, her hands ain't exactly squeaky clean themselves. So we already know who this woman is, but in case you don't know, this is Sarah Lynn Davis. She is the current police chief down in Memphis, Tennessee. And, you know, she was the one who was over those five terrorists that were involved with the murder of Tyree Nichols. But what some people may not know is a little bit of her background before she even got to Memphis. And that's what we're going to discuss today. The Memphis police chief who was now tasked with investigating the killing of Tyree Nichols was previously fired from her job for dismissing allegations in a CP case. I hope y'all understand what I mean when I say CP. Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis was kicked out of the Atlanta Police Department in 2008 for her role in the botched investigation of Sergeant Tanya Crane's husband, Terrell Marion Crane, who later turned out to be guilty. Two detectives on the case accused Davis, who was deputy chief at the time, of urging them not to dig into the claims against Crane after the unit received pictures of him with underage middle school girls. Now, keep in mind. It just stated that this man was found guilty, which means they found stuff on him to make them convict him of something. And to my knowledge, this man that was found guilty was a PC man. Y'all can correct me if I'm if I'm incorrect. So she basically was throwing, you know, she put herself in the line of fire for this individual and they were found guilty, which is definitely not a good look, which now I can see why they fired her. Crane letter later pled guilty to one count of producing CP after the FBI took on the case and blame then shifted onto Davis for taking a blind eye onto the CP claims. Despite her history as a careless investigator, Davis still became the first black female chief in Memphis in 2021, one year after George Floyd was killed at the hands of Minneapolis police. And when I see stuff like that and I hear, you know, to say historical things like this and that in the third despite what she was involved with uh whether indirectly or not that just seems to me like that was just some kind of a pity thing or they wanted to just say oh this is a historical thing let's just go ahead and make her this and that even if she wasn't qualified to be there crane was indicted by a federal grand jury on the cp charges after atlanta police department failed to take action on the case and in 2009 he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 10 years and one month in jail the FBI blasted Atlanta's police force as unforgivable at the time for allowing the child abuse, which involved at least 11 girls, some as young as middle school age, to go unchecked. Attorney David E. Namias said this case goes back a number of years, which makes the list of victims even longer and the facts of the case even more disturbing. This defendant sexually exploited numerous young girls and that unforgivable criminal conduct went unchecked for years, even after being brought to the attention of the Atlanta Police Department. Crane's wife, who was a sergeant working with Davis, also admitted to finding and burning some of the CP photographs at her husband had taken of the victims. So they need to get her as well. Or they should have got her as well, because that means that she was she knew what her husband was involved with and she was helping him to cover it up. A follow up investigation by the city then placed the blame squarely on Davis. She was demoted from major to lieutenant before ultimately being fired from the force in Atlanta. She then challenged the decision before the St city civil service board who reinstated her. But in 2016, she decided to retire herself from the Atlanta force. Davis then took up a role as police chief in Durham, North Carolina, and had called for sweeping police reform despite her previous botched job in Atlanta. She has now once again come under scrutiny following the actions of the five officers involved in the death of Nichols. Protests have erupted across the U.S. for a second night after brutal footage of the death of Nichols was released by Memphis police. Protesters vandalized businesses in Los Angeles, while others remain mostly peaceful in New York City, Washington, D.C., Memphis, and other cities. 
Cities across the U.S. saw renewed nonviolent demonstrations on Saturday in Memphis. Protesters chanting whose streets, our streets, angrily cat called a police car that was monitoring the march with several making obscene gestures. Hundreds gathered in New York City's Washington Square Park before marching through Manhattan as columns of police officers walked alongside them in Los Angeles, a small group of Antifa were seen smashing up businesses and what was a second night of rioting following the release of the Nichols police video. I'm going to be honest, some of them who go out there and do that stuff, they only doing that because they're bored. They want something to do. It has nothing to do with Tyree Nichols. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Protesters in downtown Atlanta repeated Nichols' name and demanded justice. Around 40 people gathered in front of Philadelphia City Hall to protest the killing. Now, what I wanted to also add into this situation because i don't think they're going to mention it in this article otherwise they would have brought it up already is that this woman was over these various units i believe that one of them was called the red dogs in atlanta and then the unit that these five officers were a part of was called the scorpion unit and these are all acronyms like red like red dogs is a acronym for something and scorpion unit is an accurate isn't the word scorpion and scorpion unit is an acronym for something as well as well and these units have been around for decades these are nothing new these forces or whatever you want to call it have been around for a very very long time it's like almost a it's almost like an enclave within the department and a lot of them have done some very shady things, especially when it comes to black people. But isn't it amazing how this woman was literally able to leapfrog in to, to different locations over a period of time, even with a shady record that she has had and still maintain and get a job again what Jason Whitlock said with Tucker Carlson that was extremely off cold behavior and that had to be called out but that doesn't mean we're going to turn a blind eye to the behavior that she has been involved with herself so this whole thing is going to go beyond just the five cops that were involved with or excuse me the five terrorists that were involved with the murder of Tyree Nichols they're going to have to put her in the high seat as well because this happened on her watch this was under her unit so if they're going to do something this time, they better actually fire her this time and make sure she cannot get a job anywhere else. We often say that, you know, fired, not uh, transfer, not fired. That seems to very much apply to her as well, because she's she's never really technically been fired. Like she literally went to three different states. She started in Atlanta. Helped in a cover up of something else of something then she went to durham they didn't really explain why she left durham but i bet you it was something shady or maybe it was stemming from atlanta and they followed her there and they said oh we can't have you here and then she ends up in memphis in 2021 she wasn't even there for two whole years before this ended up happening so you got to really think to yourself like wh who's the common denominator here so th i think they might have to investigate her truthfully and honestly